What's up guys, Anders here with another video for you. Today we're going to be taking a look at the first of many Odalita preview videos. That's right, Odalita, the new region just came out on test server. So we're going to be taking a look at everything it has to offer. A lot of things really. So because there's a lot of things, we have to start somewhere. We're going to start with the capital of Odalita called Odalita, no less. And once we finish through that, we can go over the uh, new nodes that are available. And then obviously all the new grind zones. So if you want to know the grind zone, are the Turos at 270 AP, the uh, Badir, or no, the Ahib at 250 AP, the little bear people at 310, which is like the new group zone, and the 300 AP is the Golem. So yeah, no real low AP grind spots, unfortunately, for you uh, newer players. But these are very interesting. I grind a little bit over here uh, already on my way to Odalita, and it seems pretty cool. And there's a lot of other notes to unlock and a lot of new materials to go through as well. So because of this, we're going to go through the entirety of the capital city, uh, which is a giant fortress. And then once we are done with that, uh, we can move on to making other videos because there's also stuff like the Black Star Armor. That's right, Black Star Armor is now in the game in test server, so have to uh, grind for that. Uh, unfortunately, they don't just give it to you. <laughs> All right, so this is the entrance of Odalita. Looks pretty cool, very sinister. The uh, Even the emblem of the of the region is dark uh, compared to what Camasylvia was, which is just pure white, you know, giving you the comparison between good and evil, good and bad. Although, you know, that's, uh, that's questionable now since we're somehow allowed to be in this city. Uh, so we'll see, we'll see. Let's um, go here. I believe this is the storage keeper. Yep. So this is the storage keeper for you. It's a really close to the to the entrance. We're going to make our way around this way up until the uh, the center of the city where the uh, the head of Odalita is. So this is the merchant quarter. This is your marketplace vendor. Okay. And uh, multiple vendors. Nothing really that interesting to talk about. General goods vendor. There are a couple of furniture items that... Um, See if we can find them. Uh, so this is a vase. There you go. You can get that for your for your house. There's one more furniture item uh, vendor here. Sells a couple of things as well. Not nothing great. This is basically like a dead IKEA plant for 70k silver. Pretty good. Um, more more merchants over here as well. Material vendor and I believe the luxury vendor. The actual blacksmith is a, a bit further up. Uh, as for housing, I'm, I'm sure, I don't know if you noticed that there is just no housing here right now. And uh, that's going to be implemented when it goes live. Uh, Odalita should go live in Korea within about a week or two. So we we probably won't be getting it that soon, to be honest. Maybe a month. So, um, so you can see we're up a mountain. It looks pretty cool. I mean, uh, it does remind me a lot of what um, what Grana was, but more more dark and sinister, more uh, kind of uh, cathedral esque. Uh, these are a lot of these monsters that you see around here are actually monsters that you kill out in the world. These are the dark wolves from the uh, Ahiv zone. I think these are the arms vendors. Yep, yep. So obviously they sell the specific ones to Dark Knights because Dark Knights are Vidir and uh, the Vidir are the Dark Elves. Although technically, uh, I don't know if this is the Vidir capital or the Ahib capital. I mean, it's been a while since I've read the lore, uh, but from what I could tell, uh, this guy's trying to sell something and she's not very happy about it. Nah, -uh. she's trying to get a refund. Uh, so the lore basically tells you that you're fighting against these dark elves because they are the children of the moon and the Camasylvians are the children of the sun, right? So they kind of always have a rivalry there. And eventually you find out that there's these radicals called the Ahib uh, that are from the dark elves and they have uh, no qualms with you know doing whatever it takes to take out the Camasylvians. And that kind of leads to a lot of uh, problematic things and situations. So you kind of have to fight them a lot uh, through the Camasylvian quest lines. You basically defeat them all the time, obviously. And then now all of a sudden um, you have to work with the Dark Elves to do something. So I wonder what that is. I'm sure they, uh, they retcon something so that you actually are able to... This should be the cooking vendor. Yeah. Hopefully there's a house nearby, so if you're a, an avid cook, you can still, you know, get your materials really close by. But as far as I can tell, I mean, I haven't really seen any 
indication that there's a house nearby here, uh, which is worrisome, to be honest. And there's a stable, so there's a stable keeper right here. Oh, you can see, I love that. You can even see that the squirrels are kind of like badass and evil. <laughs> That's so weird. Uh, the squirrels in Camus Silver are just kind of plain old white. Okay, so moving forward, we're going around the Odolita capital here. Let's go actually into control U so you guys can see it a little bit better. Let's just consume our black spirit here. There we go. It looks really good. I, I really do like the design of the of the castle so far. Um, I wonder what the housing will look like. But it feels really good. Very fantasy-esque. And I like the dark and sinister. If, if Camasylvia was more like Goody Two Shoes, this is more... Um, Kind of dark and sinister with the cathedral theme. I don't know why, it just reminds me a little bit of Bayonetta for whatever reason. So here we have um, a forum where I guess they're practicing their freedom of speech. Good on ya. And we're nearing the, the capital leader here. So I just want to show you, this is kind of like a, a demolished cathedral in a way. It looks super cool. I really like the look. This is some player. <laughs> there is a, a little fishing area there. You can actually fish over there. But there's a better spot, I think, that you can check out. That's also a safe zone in a little bit. This is the head of the the armed forces with the golden armor. You can, you know, making it very obvious. This is a great library here. And at the top of the great library is the head of the uh, of Odalita. This lady right here. Now, I'm not sure if we have actually met her before. I don't think we have in terms of the lore, but uh, this place right here is amazing looking. I like it. I like it. They're really for, like trying to fortify the idea that the, the Vidir, the, the Dark Elves, sort of just seek knowledge rather than, uh, you know, seek any sort of knowledge, not just what they've been told. Oh, so the the pillars are actual books. I didn't actually notice that earlier when I was going through it. It does look really good though. So let me show you the um this area right here. Since the entire thing is uh, we've actually been going up and up through the mountains. Oh, you can kind of see what the Taurus look like. Oh, there he is. Pretty big. Pretty large entities. And here they are. They look pretty cool though. So they've, uh, they obviously have a connection. So we go up here. Let's see if I can get back to the, uh, the little fishing area. As you can see, like, everything's very foggy down there. So you can't really see far. I love that the little gargoyles or the caulk, whatever they are, are above the, the spires. They look, <laughs> that looks so cool. And we go up here. You can see this little waterfall area, and this waterfall area is still a, a safe zone. So if you jump down here, go over here, you can actually fish here. So if you want to AFK fish for uh, some of the new fish, you can uh, you can do it here. Just so you know, it's uh, still a safe zone, as you can see over here. So not bad. It's kind of like uh, what Dragon had with the um, above kind of uh, what was it? What was it called? Like Kalk con some uh, some little spring that they had above their their city that you can actually um, fish there for a while all right let's go back to control U and um, let's get back here and finish up the the capital I mean it's fairly large but um, not as big as say Valencia I always thought Valencia was fairly large maybe too big uh, you get lost very quickly Let's go down here to this little maze uh, garden. Looks really good. And over here you can see the entire sort of uh, like even the even the <laughs> they have a giant book. Yeah, they're like seekers of knowledge basically, and they are all praying to their uh, their goddess. This looks cool. I like that they have this. This is very reminiscent of the Valencia where you have all the soldiers sitting down here waiting for their orders. Even the statues are 
gargoyles. And you have the flying caulk in the background there. I mean, uh, supposedly they they possess these uh, these creatures, and that's how they're able to control them. So they they make it seem like it's a bad thing, but uh, maybe not so much. Let's go down here actually, because we haven't gone this way. There's some more NPCs up here. Let's see what they're doing. They're just kind of standing, taking some orders. Maybe the recruits. New Dark Elves. Yeah, it's just a giant fortress. It's a giant castle. Down here. Still, I don't see any indication of where we could be seeing housing. Oh, look. Uh, dummy training area. <laughs> there it is. So you can uh, AFK over here overnight if you need some skill points or trying to get some combat points. There's even uh, the trainer's even a DK. Nice. Let's see. I haven't seen any indication of a new class. Sometimes we kind of get teases. But uh, for for now, we just seem to just see the archers, obviously, and the, and the typical Dark Knights. I don't know what they're trying to protect. I mean, uh, going up here, I didn't see anything. Like, there's nothing here. This entire region belongs to them. As far as we know, anyway. Let's go down here. See if we can go up that spire because we're almost at the entrance. You can see the entrance right there. For the most part, it, I do like the layout of the of the city. It's it's not too hard to to get around, as you saw. Just kind of going out around in a big circle, and you're fine. We go here. So this is the Kalk. kind of fortifying this whole thing. I guess we can't we can't go up there. Huh. Let's go down here. Maybe there's a door. Maybe there's something here. There's the entrance right there. And as you saw, like, in the distance, the thick fog kind of, you can't really see very well, right? That's pretty much the entire zone, the entire region in a nutshell is like that. Let me show you. So as you kind of go in through here, there's a thick fog. You can't really see much. Sometimes it clears away so you can actually see more. But um, for the most part, it's going to be very foggy around these areas. Uh, there's a little island down here that we got to check out. I don't know what that is. I also need to see if we can actually sail down here since um, we'll eventually get Palpa Kurnia. This is already live on Korea. So you can now sail down this side of the, of the world map. So maybe we can sail down over here, which would make it a little bit easier if you're living in Grana. Uh, but maybe you don't like any of the houses here. It says we have five. Did you notice that? Zero out of five. So... Five buildings. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. What's this? Oh. There is housing. We just can't see it on the map. Okay, okay. So there we go. I lied. This is one of the houses. Looks cool. I mean, it's kind of small, but <laughs> it's interesting. There's a lot of windows and a giant hole on top. This is just the house, right? This is it? Yeah. There was only 2 CP, right? As far as I could say. Or 8 CP. All right. So now we know. Let's see. There must be more. Oh, there's one over there. I'm like super excited now. All right. So we know there's five. So let's buy them all. This one's only 2 CP. Yeah, they're only 2 CP. That's so cheap for what you're getting. Holy crap. This looks nice. 2CP will get you, like, a broom closet in most cities. Can we uh, open these windows? No, I don't think we can. There's another door here. So this... Okay, okay. So we're in the housing district, I guess. Go here. Come back out here. So we have that one. This one must be one, no? No. Okay, we, we're missing three. Let's go back here. We saw that one. Yeah. Huh. All right, let me let me find more. Okay, I found another one, but we can't uh, for whatever reason we can't invest in all of them. Let 
This one looks pretty much the same. It's just like a small house. It looks nice though. It's very flat. Okay, found another one. So let's, uh, we can't invest in it again. Wait, why does it say that someone owns it? That's so weird. Wait. I'm confused. This is a different house, but it looks exactly like the house that we had before. That is so weird. All right, so that's four houses that I've found so far. And there's one that's barred that doesn't let you kind of go inside. Okay, I found one. We're going to purchase it. This is 3 CP. This should be the last one. Oh, this is the big boy. Holy crap. That's big. It's a lot of space. It's very dark. Can we open these up? These are more uh, jail cells than uh, than windows. Let's go up the stairs here. I mean, this might not be done, though. I'm not sure. There we go. I mean, it's fairly large for uh, for 3 CP. Not a lot of lighting. Uh, I like the tall ceilings, but... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. It's definitely not as not as a uh, not as nice and as Grana, obviously. But I like the entrance as well, though. It's not bad. So we found we found all five basically. Yeah, this is it. And that's pretty much it, guys. We're back at the start here. Let me know what you thought about the Odalita capital city. I think it looks amazing. Probably my favorite city so far. I just really love the aesthetic. And uh, the residences are okay. I mean, they're not terrible. They could have been a lot worse, let me tell you. Uh, Altanova. Just remember, Altanova housing exists. So uh, these are kind of on the smaller side. The CP, though, is not that bad at all. Um, just expect more videos on Odalita. I'm going to be going through the nodes now to see what new materials we can get and what they actually do. And, of course, after that, we're going to be going through each single area and uh, giving you videos on that as well. If you want to know anything specific about Odalita, let me know in the comments down below. I'll make sure to try and get you that information, it, whether it's in a video form or in an actual reply. Uh, just let me know in the comments. And um, yeah, stay tuned. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. Every sub counts as we continue to grow. Hit that bell icon to get notified when I upload my next video. Like or dislike this video, depending on how your day is going. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.